800 of these things. Oh my goodness. I am ready to put these things up. I think it's gonna be amazing. It looks magical. I've never done anything like this before, but let's see how it goes. Hey, what's up y'all? You're watching Green Dream Project. This is Jessica. I live off grid with my husband in Southern Arizona where we are still building an earth bag house. And we are still working on making our own shingles. We've been working on these shingles for weeks now. Cutting them out of scrap pieces of metal, sanding them and painting them, but we're close now. I think we're really close to being finished preparing the shingles and ready to hang them on the house. I'm really excited about this. A lot of work has gone into these shingles, so I'm really anxious to see how everything comes together and how it looks on the house. So let's push through and let's try to get this done. Crew's helping me finish off the shingles. You helping me, buddy? I guess I'm out of juice right now. <laughs> Girl, you need something? How about I finish off these shingles? I'll take you for a walk. Oh, oh he's going to you. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need something. Eight hundred of these things. Oh my goodness. That is it, y'all. Last shingle sanded. Now I just gotta finish the painting, then I'm ready to hang them. I think the painting will go a lot quicker. Crew, you need to go for a walk? <laughs> I just want some pets. Is that it? You just want some pets? It's like, oh, oh that's what it was. He's like, oh, this guy's busy. She's not doing anything. <laughs> Scratching up the shingles. Come on, Chris. Do you have paw prints? Ah, uh, they, they might be dry already. Luckily. So no, I am not painting any of the shingles black. Well, I sort of am. <laughs> but my idea was to bring out the uh, black spray paint and actually paint the back of the shingles black. All the spray paint I have left over is black. I can extend that color on the front of the shingles. So it's just a way to kind of conserve some of the colored spray paint. Good morning, y'all. Well, finally we got all those shingles cut. That took a while, but we're there. Now it's all about painting but it's just uh, just a little bit left to do. I got maybe a couple hundred more shingles to paint, and honestly, I'm doing like 30 at a time, so I should have it done no time. But today is looking like it's gonna be a pretty windy day. We got a windstorm coming through here. We could have sustained winds around 30 miles per hour. Those gusts, I mean, who knows how strong those gusts are gonna be. So the wind should be kicking up pretty soon. I'm gonna try and get as many of these shingles painted as I can. Wish me luck, y'all. Man, these winds are definitely going nuts today. Oh man, it is rough. I think it's, it might be rough for inside the trailer. It's how it shakes and how you can hear the wind. 
I can't believe these shingles haven't gone flying yet, but they're staying put. It must be in the perfect area to avoid all these winds. I love the gold. <laughs> we got a gold dragon scales, y'all. Well, I had some of the shingles blow over, but considering these winds today, uh, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. And I'm getting so close. I'm getting so close to being done painting. Hopefully I can finish this up today. I am ready to put these things up. Well, y'all, it's been a crazy windy day. Still pretty windy, but the winds are dying down, finally. Look at this, y'all. All the shingles are pretty much painted. I just got the backs to do on these, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna give Jessica the honor of finishing these off. Uh, maybe she won't uh, think of it as a big honor, but uh, we'll see. I think she should get to finish them off. Get the finishing touch on it. It's a lot of shingles though. Hopefully we have enough. It should be, if my math is right. So it's probably not. All right, just gets to participate in the painting. Actually, you did a little bit of painting uh, beforehand, right? Yep. And I'm giving Jess the honor of completing it. Pretty exciting? Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> You did it. did it. Good job. So Jess, thank you so much for uh, finishing off those shingles. <laughs> but that's it. We are done with preparing the shingles. <laughs> oh man, from uh, cutting all those cans, to scratching them up, to painting them all, that was crazy. But now, we get to put them up there. So that's up next and I'm excited. I'm excited to finally get to put them up there and, and see how this looks. I think it's gonna be amazing. So I'm just pre-drilling some holes, getting the shingles ready to put up on the eaves. I figured it'll be a lot easier drilling through the metal down here than up there on the eaves. I've been hard at it. I already got a bucket full of these shingles ready to go up. I'm ready to start putting them on the eaves. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick kind of what we've been thinking about. Now originally we're going with the pop rivets over here. I think that would have been fine, but I had the idea of these self-tapping screws. Uh, we weren't sure about it because the profile is just a little bit thicker. But uh, ultimately I think the self-tapping screws are going to be faster and uh, it's just going to make this process go a whole lot quicker. I might even be able to skip the step of pre-drilling, but we'll uh, we'll find out. All right, so I just literally started layering these shingles. Let's get Jess's reaction. Jess, bring crew along. Let's get to let's just see how you how you think of the layering. I think you're gonna love it. What do you think? It's your vision starting to come to life. Is it kind of exactly what you had imagined? Yep. I'm trying to make it happen, Jess. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> He's done looking at it. All right, y'all, I'm very excited. Now, as you know, I've kind of been on a health kick. I've been trying to kind of cure myself of some of these ailments that I've been having high blood pressure, the Raynaud syndrome. I'm really trying to see if I can use diet, exercise to try and control these things in my life. You saw that in the other video, I made excellent progress with my weight. Now, I wanna take it a step further. I've been doing some intermittent fasting. I've been doing a six hour eating windows 
and then uh, 18 hours in between where I, I don't need anything. I'm gonna take this a step further now and I wanna do a 72 hour fast. Now I've never done anything like this before and I'm pretty excited to try it out. From what I hear, and uh, with this level of fasting, basically gives the body that time it needs to kind of go in and work on the systems and kind of heal them and get them better. So that's kind of what I'm looking to do. And I want to see if this helps with the blood pressure and I want to see if it maybe helps with the Raynaud's. Sort of like do a reset on the immune system. So wish me luck, 72 hours. Uh, I've never done anything like this before, but let's see how it goes. Hey! Crew! Inspector Crusoe at it again. You checking daddy's work? You think you found a spot? Is he gonna hang out here with me? But he wants you to lie there with him. Well y'all, this is it. This will be the last meal before the big fast begins. So I'm gonna make it a good one. <laughs> First off, I'm gonna add a little ghee to the pan. All right, just a few eggs. Add a bit of salt. I can't forget the red pepper flakes. I add the mixture of uh, beef, bacon and onion. This is gonna be so good. So good. This isn't gonna be pretty, but it's gonna be delicious. Last meal, this is gonna have to last me a while. It's good. But it needs a little hot sauce. Oh yeah, here we go. Hot sauce. Jess, you gotta see how the shingles look so far. Is that a love letter? We did exploring and we found things. Supporting users and troubleshooting desktop applications on Microsoft Windows oh XP. That came all the way from the uh, shipping container. That's what the winds do. And I found this, this little tiny eggshell. Oh. Let me get your first impressions on how this looks so far. He doesn't want to look at the shingles. <gasps> I wish I could see it in full light. I like it. I like it. <laughs> wow. Looks good. Ooh, I'm excited to <laughs> see it all done. It's been a lot of hard work, but it might be paying off, huh? Mm. We'll see how it looks when it's done. You gonna stay out here, buddy? He likes to be far away from the trailer at night. Yeah. Until it gets too dark and then he wants to come in. Good morning, y'all. Well, I was out here before the break of dawn, getting more shingles up. Ooh, look at that, I'm making big progress. It's actually going pretty fast. I love those screws are going in real nice. I got these longer screws right now. And uh, they're about uh, three quarters of an inch. I got some half inch ones that I'm going to use. Once I'm done with these three quarters, then I'll start moving up on the eaves here and then hopefully just get these covered. And then I might just go all five rows of these shingles and go all the way around instead of making multiple trips all the way around the dome. Maybe I can get it done in a day or two. I don't want to get ahead of myself. So I got about 800 of these things to put up. I got about 40 done, so uh, I got quite a bit more to go. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This is the first day I'm already over 12 hours in. First 12 hours, super easy. Of course, I slept through most of it. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep track of some health things while we're going. I'm gonna keep track of my blood pressure, blood glucose, ketones, and even my weight but let's see what I'm weighing right now. I usually do this with a little less clothes on because I like that number better, but we'll, we'll go fully dressed here for your sake. So about 136, not bad. This is always the part that makes me most nervous. Nice. 
93. Oh, weird. Apparently I am nowhere near ketosis. <laughs> That's kind of strange. But we'll see how this goes over the next couple of days. I kind of went into this being fat adapted. I've kind of been on a ketogenic diet for a while. So I'm expecting this fast to go fairly well, uh, but we'll see how this all turns out. Oh, check it out, y'all. I got over a hundred of them up. It's looking beautiful, beautiful. I finally used up all the bigger screws. The three quarter inch screws are gonna to move to half inch screws. So now I'm gonna bring the ladder back to where I started. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna start stacking them and then I'm just gonna move around. Now I could put all the screws in there and just get all the layers done as I move around. That way I'm not constantly shifting the ladder so much. And I think this will go much faster even than that. I could just load this up and keep going. All right, that should keep me going for a while. Coming along. So it's about two in the afternoon, 20 hours in. I'm feeling pretty hungry right now. <laughs> Maybe it's uh, from all the soup just made I had to put away. I don't know. But uh, I'm feeling a little bit right now. I could definitely eat, but I'm not going to. Just stick it out. I'm gonna get some water. We'll see if this passes. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Woo! I am flying through this. It's funny because of how long it took to really prepare these shingles. Uh, just weeks of cutting and grinding and painting. And now uh, actually putting them up is going rather quick. Now I'm actually about a, a quarter of the way through and actually layering all these shingles. And uh, if you count all the uh, single layer shingles I put over here, I'm definitely uh, over a quarter of the way through. And that's just one day. And what we've been doing up until this point is pre-drilling, because these are self-drilling screws I have. I'm gonna see if I can just go right in and just put them up without even uh, pre-drilling and uh, see if that makes it any harder, takes any longer, or if it goes faster. And if it goes faster and it's easier, I'll just do that. <laughs> Instead of taking the time to pre-drill them, we'll see if we can get this done even quicker. One point three. <laughs> Blood glucose eighty-five. Ketones one point three. Three point six. Moderate level of ketosis. All right, y'all, I'm making really good progress. Uh, but the winds are picking up, and they're coming from the southwest. Uh, so I gotta get busy. I think if I can get uh, half of this done, we'll be in a really good position. The wind, I don't think, will be able to get behind those shingles. But right now, there's a chance the wind can kinda get behind there and lift some of those off. I'm about halfway! But it's treacherous out here. The winds are blowing like crazy. And right now I've been on the fast for about 40 hours. Um, yeah, I felt pretty hungry this morning for sure. A lot more than, uh, more than usual. But not so hungry where like, oh, I'm starving. But I'm, overall I'm feeling pretty good. Still hanging in there. Still got a little ways to go. But I'm feeling pretty good. So I got here a little solution of electrolytes. When you're doing a fast, I've been told by several people 
Make sure you're getting plenty of minerals, electrolytes and everything like that because that could get depleted during a fast. And uh, today, you know, I was feeling a little lightheaded. So I'm hoping that this uh, electrolyte solution helps out. Just a little powder pack. Maybe not the ideal source to get uh, the minerals and stuff like that. I think I'd like to get, um, try some uh, salts a little later on when I'm a little bit more prepared, but uh, I think this should do. Cheers. I'm just grabbing some of the shingles, kind of mixing them up, putting them in a bucket, getting them ready for Jim to put them up there. All right, y'all, we are making some serious progress out here. I am over halfway done with these shingles, and these have held up so far to some really strong winds. We've been getting winds over 20 miles an hour today, and these things haven't budged a bit. So I'm just gonna get back up here and just keep uh, hammering away at, uh, maybe not hammering them away, maybe drilling. I'm gonna keep on drilling away, getting these things up. Me just kind of sitting down, prepping these shingles day in and day out, it didn't feel right. You know, I didn't feel like I was working on the house, but now it feels good to be going up and down this ladder, to be attaching things to the house. It feels like I'm working on the house again. And it feels really good, it feels Really good that we're gonna be moving on to that next step pretty soon. Well, I've been, oh uh, geez, what time is it now? Oh, almost six o'clock, so it's about five minutes away and uh, it'll be 48 hours on this fast. I did notice that my hands felt cold today, even though the high must have been around 80. I guess that's kind of normal if a person is fasting because the body kind of redirects the blood toward the core, toward where the fat is, and then gets it ready to burn faster. So, I guess it's a good sign. <laughs> good morning, y'all. Oh, my goodness. So a couple of days of working on this, uh, maybe two and a half days, I have almost got this covered with the shingles. It is crazy. Obviously, I've been working long and hard on this, and it is almost done. I got maybe a quarter of the way to go. I can't wait to jump back in here and get this done. It is already looking amazing and I can't wait to see when it's all completed how this is uh, how this all comes together. It is fantastic and I can't wait to move on. I can't wait to move on to the next project. But the winds today should be a lot less than yesterday. Should be a low wind day. So uh, easy breezy. Man that it was about a, a, almost a month worth of prep work on those shingles from the, the cutting to the sanding to the painting and then putting them up actually went super quick. I think it was good going with the self-drilling screws that really made things a lot easier. My original thinking when uh, we were going to put metal uh, around the eaves was just to take some flashing and just kind of wrap it around there. Probably would have had that done uh, a lot quicker. That didn't just sit well with you. Kind of aesthetic wise, you didn't think it was gonna look that nice. But I feel kind of bad because I had the idea of making the shingles and I had no idea how much work that would be. You ended up doing most of that work. You had the vision and then as my, it's my task to, uh, to make that vision become a reality. I don't really know how much time it would have saved us just to wrap a bunch of flashing around the outside. But I think it was worth it because, I mean, not only were we able to kind of reuse some material, and I think that beats like buying new material outright and using it for something like that. But partly it might be my like artistic mind, like using, just using what we have and turning it into something else. I feel like it's a lot more creative than just going out and buying something that's mass produced and then, you know, this is unique, like there's not going to yeah. be anything else like this. <laughs> Start for attention here. Took him for a long walk this morning. Didn't I? Didn't I take you for a long walk? <laughs> oh my goodness. Jess. Hmm? I'm about 62 hours in on that fast. Ooh. Actually, I'm feeling pretty good right now, I'll tell you that much. 
I was a little hungry when I woke up, but I'm feeling pretty good. Overall, I'm feeling pretty good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dog licks. All right, y'all, well, this is the last bucket of shingles. I think it should be plenty to get me around the rest of the way for this eaves. Uh, at least I hope. So I'm gonna get the rest of these up and then uh, whew, this project's in the bag. I don't know if I ever explained it uh, why I have this little monitoring kit in the first place. I'm not worried so much worried about glucose. I think my glucose levels are perfectly normal, perfectly fine. But this I actually picked up because I started on a keto diet and I was just wanted to make sure that I was in ketosis. But in retrospect, uh, I don't think it's super necessary, just if you're obsessive. All right, let's see what everything is doing today. Basically, uh, this is way more than I would usually measure. Like if I, if I were to want to do this, I would maybe do it like once a week. Or if I was concerned after eating a particular meal or something. But I'm just doing this just to be on the safe side with the uh, fast. Whoa, 3.6, wow. Whoa, 71. A little bit on the low side. Whoa. I am in the highest therapeutic level of ketosis. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't get too higher than that, too much higher than that. So I'm now just uh, an hour and a half away from the 72 hour mark. And I am feeling it. I was feeling it for uh, a couple hours beforehand, maybe two, three hours before this, but I'm definitely feeling like a little lightheaded, definitely like a little weaker. I was feeling pretty good up until that point, up until like about the afternoon. Maybe I didn't come into this as well prepared as I should. Maybe I should have had more electrolytes ready to go from the get-go. Maybe not go into the fast right after the uh, giving blood. But uh, I think 72 hours, I was gonna go overnight and not eat until tomorrow morning, but I think I'm gonna have to get something at the 72 hour mark. Almost there. I'm almost there, just an hour and a half and then I'll made it, 72 hours. Maybe you gotta take it easy till then. Maybe. Well this is it y'all, the last little bit, home stretch. But it was the area I've been dreading most. It's gonna be tricky getting over the hallway walls, and then over the door, just not a whole lot of room to maneuver the ladder. So I'm gonna do the best I can, I gotta get this done. Oh, it's getting late, it's getting late, but I'm almost done, look at that. But I'm gonna have to move the ladder all the way over to the other side of the hallway wall. The last two, oh my God. Oh, I'm done. The eaves are done, well, almost done. All the shingles are up, man. That's. That is about a month's worth of preparation, hard work getting those all together, and then finally they are up. It looks absolutely beautiful. It looks magical. Crew, I got it done. You see all the shingles? You see all the shingles? You see all the shingles? He's excited about the shingles. All right, y'all. My 72 hours is up, and I have got to put something in my body. <laughs> I was going to wait until tomorrow morning, so it would make it kind of more 84 hours rather than 72 hours, but I'm really feeling it. And I think it's probably better to ease the calories back in anyway. So I'll take in a little calories tonight and then, um, you know, just ease, it, ease into it tomorrow. So I just got my bro homemade bone broth here and uh, just sip on this and that'll be good for tonight. And then that should get me through till tomorrow. I did it y'all, but it wasn't easy. So good. <laughs> Woo. I tell you, after not eating for 72 hours, 
getting a little bit of this is just tastes like heaven. And that fast really helped me out. So just a little update on that. I mean, I did that uh, 72 hour fast. Right near the end of it, I noticed some really impressive results with as far as my blood pressure is concerned. Uh, it is really like, it just seemed to knock something in place or out of place <laughs> <laughs> near the end of it. And my blood pressure is looking fantastic. I'm really keeping a close eye on it. And I really want to talk to the doctor about maybe reducing some of those meds. So I think I'm at that point. So that is really positive. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> the shingles are up, y'all. Oh my God, what a journey. It just looks fantastic with uh, the different colors that we chose. I like the slightly different textures between the cans and the flashing and the lids. I've been looking forward to seeing how it all comes together and I'm pretty pleased with that. If you look at it from a distance, it does look a little bit more subdued, mm -hmm. which isn't bad. It doesn't look outrageous, but then when you get up closer and you notice those pops of color, it's really very cool. It kind of reflects the environment here and kind of some of the colors that we see in the mountains and the ground and the different colors of rocks that are around here too. So I wasn't sure when you came up with that idea but you sold me on it and uh, I think the finished product really speaks for itself. So coming up next now that all the shingles are in place of course we're not done with this yet. Next up I need to add a ridge cap just to kind of protect the top of it. That'll make sure water doesn't get behind the shingles. It'll go on top of the shingles where they should and also shoot the water out to the uh, gutter. That'll be coming up next and then oof, so many things going on. I got to work on uh, stuff for electrical uh, protecting the outside of the dome. So a lot of stuff coming up. Ooh. <laughs> we cut down on the number of videos per week because when we put out a video, we really want it to be something special for you guys and make sure we have a decent story to tell, a decent progress, but we're making changes yet again. We're thinking about going back to two videos a week. One, a little bit more of a vlog, telling about our lives, the build and everything like that. And another one that's a little bit more topical that goes maybe more in depth into uh, some of the things that we're doing out here, a little bit more informational. Let us know what you think about that. Yeah, and if you like that, like what kind of videos would you like to see? Big changes are coming. So many changes are happening around here with our lives, with the build. A lot of changes are coming to Facebook. We're really excited about that. If you haven't checked us out there, definitely check us out on Facebook. Let us know your suggestions. What do you think about the new uh, video format we're thinking about? Leave those suggestions down below. We want to hear it. So exciting with the uh, shingles being up. I just got to put some finishing touches and then we'll be moving on to the next phase, which I'm super excited about. Thank you guys so much for joining us and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.